Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back. And thank you for being here. Uh, this is a quick intuitive reading. I've been guided today not to use cards, but to go ahead and just do a clairvoyant reading. So I'm going to be just tuning into spirit, see what spirit wants to tell us. And I'm going to be really tuning into guidance for staying on our highest timeline. So meaning, you know, just what, whatever wants to come forward for really aligning us to our purpose and aligning us to spirit. I'm, I'm using this stone here. It's a Labradorite and I was really drawn to use that. Um, I've got it here in this bracelet. I'm going to be putting that on in a sec, but uh, just this is one that it's called the shaman stone and it is supposed to be very, very good for tuning into your intuition. So if you are drawn to using crystals, you might want to get yourself a chunk of this. It's a beautiful, beautiful stone. So I'm going to let that kind of sit here. I like to use it along with grounding stones as well. This is a, a lava, uh, lava stone and hematite um, putting on here. And I've got this piece of shungite here and a jasper. So hopefully we'll stay grounded and practical along with you know, uh, tapping into the spirit guidance, just really asking for grounded, practical advice for the highest and best good of all of us listening to this. And this is, even though I'm recording this at a specific time on a specific date, this is really going to be pertinent to, you know, whatever you happen to land here. So tuning in now and asking for true sight and true guidance for bringing us to our highest time timeline, asking for an image to come forward. I'm getting kind of geometric image here. It's very geometric today. And I'm going to encourage you as you watch this unfold to tune into your own intuitive guidance because I'm going to have I'm going to be shown things or told things through this but you may receive your own intuition around this image you know, it is looking like it's turning into some sort of mandala Mandalas. Let me see what else it wants to put in here. Getting kind of this expansion feeling. And I'm being told that this is sort of like light language, this image, to where this is a download of energy that has its own energetic imprint. And sometimes Words aren't needed, or sometimes there are certain things beyond words that are transmitted. Maybe this is why I was guided to do this today rather than a more verbal 
or you know reading the cards kind of thing because sometimes sometimes it's really just like we listen to music and we get shifts and changes in our energies this can happen visually as well this is unlike what I usually come up with so this is something that is different Like if you are familiar with my art, this is very different. I have been connecting a lot with the Syrians lately. Or they seem to be wanting to reach out to me. I'm feeling this might be connected with them. I'm getting thunder beings here too. I went to a powwow recently and I was really drawn to this particular necklace that was being sold. It has a thunderbird on it, so I did buy that. Maybe I'll show that to you in a bit. I'd have to go get it. I think what I'll do is I'll put it on the thumbnail, maybe. For the video. So I'm asking Spirit if there's more, and I'm really being indicated that I'm feeling there's more here, that there will be words, a, a verbal guidance as well, going along once it's come to a certain state of completion. And I'm being told not to rush it. <laughs> so there is one big nugget of guidance for moving on to our higher timelines. Is not to rush, is to be deliberate and to really listen. Because we'll be told exactly what we need to do but it's saying that we need to be in a certain state of receptivity before the true guidance will be given. And so the encouragement is patience. That you may come to a certain point, you may be progressing and then come to a certain point where it seems like everything's coming to a standstill. And the temptation will be to quickly ask for guidance and just sort of grasp at straws, right? And it can be easy to trick your mind into thinking that you're getting true guidance when you're in that state. but that when the true guidance is ready, it will come. But not to rush.
This is kind of turning out to be a sort of eight pointed star, isn't it? Like a snowflake. With eight points. There is a lot of energy here. In fact, it's kind of running off the paper here. Just you have to kind of imagine it expanding, <laughs> expanding out. So this is a lot of energy. I'm really thinking this feeling like this is an activation right here. Apologies for the shadow here. It was a little bit more overcast when I started, and I didn't have this big shadow over it, so I'm going to try to bring a light a little closer here. Maybe try to... I'm not sure that's going to work. But I think I may make a painting out of this at some point. It feels like... I'm told there's got to be something in the middle here. But maybe not. Maybe it's color. Oh, this beautiful blue. Not sure this color is going to really come out here. I think what I might do is um, let me post this to my Facebook page or something and put a link below. Your primary colors here and these are looking like it's wanting more of the primary colors of light there's pigment colors which are more the crayon colors that are the primary colors we all know of you know, red, yellow, blue. But the primary colors of light are yellow, cyan, and magenta. And these approximate the, the, the close to the magenta and the cyan. And they combine a little differently. So I'm being told silver for these. I do have some 
or it isn't silver. I'm going to look for that. Whoops. Excuse me. I to reach over. Pull out my paints. See if I even have that here. Oop. All right. Yep. This is Interference Silver, Daniel Smith. This is my favorite brand of paints, although there's a lot of good brands of watercolor out there. So I don't paint with them exclusively, but I do like Daniel Smith because they've got this beautiful line of Primatec paints, which are made of crystals. For whatever reason, I'm not using that today. Oop. Looks like we got a little spill. Sometimes things like that happen. And we just have to kind of calmly pick up the pieces. There. See, watercolor is more forgiving than people give it credit for. So it's life. There. Okay. Silver. This may not show up real well on the screen. It's going to be the kind of thing where when the light hits it, you see it. So I'm getting with the colors in the middle. Those really are the threefold flame colors. Those are kind of the love, power of starting power in that middle there, the blue and wisdom. It's really the creation. So there's a lot, a lot of creative energy in this image. And it is an activation for that. It's also, it's gonna help balance, I think. To help to balance these energies and get them working in harmony together. We can marry the power with love that's an immensely joyous combination and extremely powerful as well. I know it's redundant to say that, you know, adding love to power is powerful, but it is. It amplifies the power and it, and it gets it going in a positive direction. So, what love does is it helps to keep that power positive. I'm feeling like this is a sacral chakra activation. If you are wanting to create something, the energy in here is going to assist with that. Or if you've been feeling sluggish in some way.
and it's wanting green as well. I'm gonna switch brushes here and let's bring some green into it. Because that's the color of life. Let's see if we can find a nice green. Not that one. This isn't watercolor paper, so it's, <laughs> it may buckle a lot. <laughs> I wasn't intending necessarily to do a lot of watery things. That's all right. And they're also saying more blue. Let's see where that goes. Bring more blue in here. Just blue helping to direct. And again, it may not show up that well, <laughs> but And it's showing me it like dots, like sort of flowers. It, it's saying they're flowers, but they're dots. And I'm not quite clear yet on exactly where they're supposed to be placed. So I'm just going to wait.
So while this can here, I'm just being told to offer this to individuals as well, so. That's something of interest to you to have your own personal <laughs> spirit painting. Like I said, this one's kind of unusual. I don't usually come out with something like this, but it's interesting. This is really life. These dots here, it's showing me it's like This is like the desert blooming. It's like life springing up. You know, where there's been a field cut or, you know, something that barren ground that hasn't, nothing's been growing on it because it's all been cut down and suddenly it's left alone and it's left to just nature take over and this is what happens you start getting uh, there's all these seeds buried <laughs> all these seeds buried under the ground that you can't see that nobody knows are there and sometimes they sometimes they stay dormant for decades and it looks like everything's dead but given the right timing the right chance given some time for nature to simply you know for given some rest and then nature takes over nature is more resilient than we can't even imagine and nature shows us that even when things look bleak, when things look hopeless, when things look like death is certain, that life, life is there under the surface. It's all it's waiting for is for things to calm down enough for it to start. When conditions are right and it's allowed to breathe and give time space, allowing the rain to fall, allowing the sun to shine down, given room to breathe, life springs forward again. We all experience deaths in our life, deaths of different kinds. Sometimes relationships don't work out. Sometimes our soul leads us to places that are dark and barren. So we learn to let go and just surrender. A farmer knows if you keep plowing the field, it will never yield a harvest. You gotta plow. And let go, let it, let it do its thing, because this is what it'll do. It'll spring forward, all these seeds under the earth are ready to spring forward right now. And they're sprouting. It's
it is about faith and knowing that when the seed's ready to sprout, it'll sprout. We just have to stay still enough to trust and have faith that it's growing. Hmm. All right. Well, that is the message. Have faith. Sit back. Allow spirit to do its thing. Allow nature to take its course. Because nature knows and spirit knows. Things will come forward as long as we stay. Keep that faith that things are lining up and sometimes the growth is happening where we can't see it so it's just really asking for trust in the process and again this this image is in itself an activation it can help to Kind of bring a little light or fertilizer or whatever you want to call it into the scene so that things can really start to explode like in the spring when it's been really chilly and really chilly and all of a sudden you get a really warm day and you notice things go Poof, right so that's what this kind of activation is is going to help with all right so hope you've enjoyed this as always i appreciate your subscribes and your likes and thank you so much to those of you who have commented and to those of you who've reached out to me outside of YouTube I really appreciate that that means a lot to me thank you and uh, I love you guys so much have a lovely day and we'll catch you next time